G'day guys, Dilly Dog here, and today I thought I'd make a video about what person has the most kills on every legend in Apex Legends history. So today we're going to be taking a look at the actual sweatiest gamers that Apex Legends have to offer. I'm telling you guys, these people have Dorito dust caked onto their controllers. Of course no one on these lists is going to be from MNK, because let's be honest, they're just telling every person on Twitter that aim assist is aimbot. But we actually have the sweatiest Wraith main, the Seer Abusers, and of course the top alpha gamers, which of course are the Caustic mains. Now for all these leaderboards in today's video, I've used a site called Apex Legends Status, who give us an up-to-date Apex leaderboard of every player's statistics, and of course the top players, which we will be taking a look at in today's video. Now just a quick disclaimer, these leaderboards are one platform exclusive. So for example, if someone moves from PlayStation to PC, those stats do not fly over to PC. Maybe when Respawn introduced cross-progression into Apex Legends, we will actually see stats merged, but until then, as of right Right now these leaderboards are platform specific. Now today we'll be going through the top 5 people on each legend and we will be going in alphabetical order. So first off we start with the straight shoot in Bangalore, where at number 5 we have Gate Relentless, at number 4 we have Bolsey89, at number 3 we have Tic Tacs, at number 2 we have Shiv, and at number 1 the top Bangalore main it's It's Subby. Now we move to the OG Woolhack legend in Bloodhound, where we start at number 5 which is Cure My Depression, number 4 we have Impress Me, at number 3 we have Happy Kitten, at number 2 we have Akis Gaming, and at number 1 the top Bloodhound main is Core Soul Worker. But now we get to my main man, which is Caustic. Where surprisingly enough, no, I'm not on this list, which must be surprising for so many of you, but we start at number 5 with Ghost FPS, at number 4 we have HY0316, at number 3 we have Hot Sauce TV, at number 2 we have Rallets, and at number 1 the top Caustic main, which is Giggle Autumn. And now let's take a look at the Forgotten Legend, which of course is Crypto. Now yes, Crypto still exists in Apex for some reason anyway. And for some reason people are still using Crypto in Season 10. So I guess we'll start at number 5 with Old Spooky. At number 4 we have Machin. At number 3 we have Measy Cage. At number 2 we have Cheeky Classic. And at number 1 the top Crypto main is Toxic Fire Blood. And now let's talk about the Aussie boy in Fuse. Of course everyone loves Fuse. And if you don't, well you're not welcome in Australia, mate. But now at number 5 we have Moochie820. At number 4 we have Sumtin7, at number 3 we have AC Skullbreaker, at number 2 we have Abisi and Hamna, and at number 1 the top Fuse player is Hydrop Lane. And next we have the thickest legend in the game. That's right, you hear this legend's cheek smacking together from a mile away and you can't help but stare at these juicy doubles. That's right, it's Gibraltar. At number 5 we have Absolute Zero, at number 4 we have Bamsky TV, at number 3 we have XBR3, at number 2 we have Yonko, and at number 1 the top Gibraltar main is Chet, you betcha. Up next, we have everyone's favourite Scotsman in Horizon. We start at number 5 with Jim X. At number 4, we have Mardanley. At number 3, we have Kays. At number 2, we have Hyta. And at number 1, the top Horizon main is Yakuza. And now we get to the most bloody annoying legend in the game to come up against. And no, it's not Seer. Well, alright, these legends are both annoying in their own right. But next, we have Lifeline, where we start at up throw at number 5. At number 4, we have Titan Star. At number 3, we have Sappy Nuts. At number 2 we have Term K47, and at number 1 the top lifeline main, Esposito. And now we move to Loba, and yes we all love Loba here, except for Revenant mains, but who cares about them because all they do is sit in the pockets of Octane mains, like the brain dead people they are. But anyway, we start at number 5 for Loba, which is Abysmal, number 4 we have Popsicles Donkey Duo, at number 3 we have Decar, at number 2 we have Kenny FPS, and at number 1 the top Loba main is Little Scrappy. And now we have everyone's favourite legend in Mirage. The charismatic trickster is definitely a guy I'm turning for. At number 5, Dan Odeo. At number 4, we have Hateful Nate. At number 3, we have Bamboozling You. At number 2, we have Ikey100. And number 1, the top Mirage main is Abusing R2. Now the next legend we have is Octane. Probably the funnest legend to play in the game. And it's always exciting to have that one Octane main on your team who is always down more than people on OnlyFans who discovered they may have to look for a job after OnlyFans decided to remove explicit content from their website. And yes, people of OnlyFans, don't worry, I know they reversed that decision, so you can post all kinds of shit on your platform again, but that is what we call a joke. But anyway, to Octane, we start at number 5 with Radiance, at number 4 we have Zebra, at number 3 we have Dabs are Better, at number 2 we have Chrom 3, and at number 1 the top Octane main is Schweeney. But now we get to everyone's friend in Pathfinder, who you can't help but love, but we start at number 5 with Vander. At number 4 we have Omron Dado, at number 3 we have Top Aim, at number 2 we have SPK Kenny, and at number 1 the top Pathfinder main which is Mad Bro. But now we move on to a legend which I've personally never heard of before, but their name is Rampart. Never heard of them. But anyway, some people apparently play this Rampart character, and at number 5 we have Willjack, at number 4 we have Days Old, huh? At number 3 we have Ganked Wendigo, at number 2 we have Ramya, and at number 1 the top Rampart main is Gyro. But now let's take a look at Revenant mains, and I think 3 quarters of these kills should be removed and transferred over to their Octane teammates. But anyway, we have at number 5, Cardo Spire. At number 4 we have Noro. At number 3 we have Damn Luke. 
At number two, we have Swift FPS. And at number one, the top Revenant main is Revengeful. Now we move to the newest legend in the game, which is Seer. Now, yes, these people were most likely the ones who threw their monitors on the road after the most brain dead legend in the game got a nerf last week. But now we start at number five, which is Ultima Weapon. And number four, we have Penny's Afchan. And number three, we have Dr. Chaos. And number two, we have It's Kaka Hot. And number one, the top Sia main is Smooth. And now we move to Valkyrie. And honestly, I don't have anything negative to say about Valk mains. Honestly, good on you for sticking with her after all the hype wore off last season. Honestly, I think that she's a perfectly balanced legend. And at number five, we have Kashi. And number four, we have Valkyrie of King. And number three, we have Kashinzu. And number two, we have JQ. And number one, the top Valkyrie main is Supreme Legacy. Now, we only have two more legends to go through in today's video, and now we go to Watson. Yes, the most overpowered legend in the game, according to Daniel Klein. And yes, of course, the people who I mentioned now are just abusing the power of Watson, in my opinion. But anyway, at number five for Watson, we have Serpto. And number four, we have Tex Colon. And number three, we have Joey Hydro. And number two, we have Les Aimbot. And number one, the top Watson main is Neo. And last of all, we save the sweatiest till last, which of course is Wraith. These people are probably the best players in Apex. No, I don't mean in the game. I mean best at leaving the game before being downed. I'm telling you guys, these people leave the lobby quicker than water DDoS as a lobby to make Apex Predator. But now we have at number five, Revcores. And number four, we have Mkrita. And number three, we have Blushy. And number two, we have Apreezy. At number one, the top Wraith main is Willuminati. And now guys, that is all the current top five for legend kills in Apex Legends. Now yes guys, if you have made it this far in the video, it probably means that you can take a joke. And make sure to let me know down below how many people you'll think will try to cancel me for these jokes in about five years time. Now but I just thought this video would be beyond boring if I just read out the top five for kills in every legend. So yeah, I thought I'd add a little bit of spice to this video. But that is all from me guys, so make sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel for the quickest and straight to the point Apex content. But anyway guys, dilly doll, we'll catch us all later.